Hello friends, my name is Jenny and I'm the guest experience and administrative assistant at Tippett Rise Art Center located in Fishtail, Montana. Every year at Tippett Rise, we welcome guests from all over the world to visit, create art, play music, and explore the art center. Today, we are going to learn how to create our very own fun nature-inspired picture holder to hold on to collected memories and photos from our wonderful friends and guests. Let's go inside the Daydream Schoolhouse and learn how. For this project, you will need one medium-sized rock, tempera paint, wire, beads, a wire cutting tool, as well as some paintbrushes. To begin this project, you wanna go outside and collect your rock. Think about where this rock is going to sit in your space as for a room or decoration. This medium rock works the best for our space. Now you're gonna take your wire and you're gonna measure it out and wrap it around your rock. You're gonna need about an arm's length of wire to begin. You're gonna start by taking the top of your rock and you're gonna wrap your wire around the rock. Give it a nice twist at the bottom. And then take the wire on the other side and wrap it around. Giving it another twist at the top as well. Once you have your wire wrapped around the rock, take the ends and measure about six inches from the top of the rock and then you're gonna trim those down. Now you're gonna twist the two ends of wire together to create one bigger wire. But you wanna make sure you leave some room at the end to create the loops to hold your photo in place. Next, we're gonna put on the beads. About three to four beads works the best. Once you have your beads in place, you're ready to create the loops to hold your photo in place. You can take pliers if that's a little easier and just bend those loops into place. You can always adjust these later. Make sure they're pretty close together so a photo will sit nicely within your friendship photo rock. Now you are ready to paint. Take your tempera paint, it can be in whatever color you want, and make a design that reminds you of the special memory you wanna share. You can do whatever colors and designs you like. We chose some really bright colors today, but you can use whatever colors you desire. You can paint your rock with some designs that remind you of the memories that you shared with your friends or family. Or you can paint it in their favorite colors, favorite patterns. I finished the base layer of one side and now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the other, changing the colors as I go. We're painting the rock first and then we're gonna go in and paint the wooden beads. If you're using plastic beads that are already colorful, then you don't have to worry about that step. Now that I have my base colors, I'm gonna go in and add some fun patterns. I'm just gonna add some little polka dots on this side. You can do various patterns. You can do animals, leaves, whatever your heart desires. Personalize it and make it your own. Keep it fun. Because the beads are just wooden beads, I can paint these as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my first bead here. You can also add different patterns or colors to these beads as well. I'm just gonna add some finishing touches of various dots and dashes to my beads, make them look a little more interesting and fun. Once you have your finished photo rock, you can keep it to hold on to a cherished memory or you can give it away to friends and family. You can make as many as you'd like using different materials and styles for those different memories unique as your very special friends. We hope that you've enjoyed creating with us today and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos, go to our YouTube channel. For more information about the Tippet Rise Art Center, go to www.tippetrise.org.